Howdy everyone, Prairie Ranger here, and today in this video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to uh, turn on light trails in Assetto Corsa. So if you want to do this, you're going to need a few things first. I won't show you how to install them, but I will tell you what you'll need. First, you're going to need a version of Soul. I'm running Soul uh, 2.2 or something like that. And I'm also running the custom shaders patch version 1.77. There's also a few other ones. I think it works up to 1.68 potentially, or whatever considered the last stable version of custom shaders patch. Not entirely sure, but 1.77 works for me. And of course, you'll have to have content manager as well. So what you're going to want to do is go into, open up your content manager, and then you're going to go to lighting effects, not lighting effects, of course, but you go to particles effects. You would think it would be in lighting effects, but it's actually particle effects. Then you scroll down to initial D breaking trails, not real, do not enable unless need to. Now that's just a suggestion. And of course, since it's kind of, um, well, it's pretty much, it's a case by case basis, whether it will work for you, but, and depending on the car that you choose too, it's a little, it has some weird factors to it, but this is the easiest way to do it. Some cars have it, so it doesn't actually match up, but all you do is you click active and then brighter with brakes. I think that one you have to enable as well. And then, to test it out, that's pretty much all you have to do here. Uh, you have to make sure, of course, that your particle effects extension is active, of course. And that's just, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if we go and we test this, I have a MR2 GTS. I'll have the link to that down below in the description, as well as some tutorials on how to install Content Manager and um, CSP and all that. So it'll be easy for you to install and all that. So it'll be easy to figure out. So here, let's take a little uh, little test to show you that it's working. It's a neat little thing. It does have some weird aspects to it if you reverse. And it only activates under a few specific circumstances. The, yeah, okay, so here we have our car. So if we turn it on, I'm also using A3PP as my filter, but that doesn't actually make a difference. As long as you have CSP, it should work. So now if we speed up, we get these lighting effects. And they follow the car pretty much like that. And that's all there is to it. Now, yeah, that's a pretty simple tutorial. See, if we break, it gets more pronounced, so to speak. And it only is, like, it won't go on all the headlights, or all the taillights, rather, of a vehicle. I don't believe that there's any way to make it go on it. It's pretty much set manually for, like, the glare. I think it bases it off of, but only certain cars work with it. And some might have it in the wrong place or not centered or whatever. But yeah, that's just a quick little tutorial on how to do this. Uh, yeah. And another thing, if you reverse and you speed up, it does a weird thing where it's kind of like above. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you did enjoy this video, consider grilling that like button, subscribe if you wish, and uh, let me know if you have any other tutorials that you would like me to make on any game, really. And I'll show you what to do. Or at least try to. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Prairie Ranger. Over and out.